Hi, welcome back. This is Debbie. And today I'm going to be doing a collab video for you. This is from a Facebook group that I belong to that are the ladies who collab. I will put their link down below. And if you have a channel and you wish to join us, just sign up and the administrators will go over the thing and hopefully um, we'll see you in an upcoming collab. Now this one I'm doing today is a little late. I had some issues with my health. Those of you who know, I have lupus and um, pretty bad uh, rheumatoid arthritis and I just had a real bad couple weeks. But that's not what this video is about. It is about um, my favorite fall lipstick shades. Now I must say, first of all, that I am not a person that saves colors just for seasons. I happen to live in an area of the country that we really don't have all four seasons so that's number one I'd be wasting a lot and number two I've always been a person regarding makeup that I just kind of wear the color I like when I like it and um, that's about it so let's get started with the first one and it's the one I'm wearing and I'm going to move you forward you can see this is a beautiful pinkish red And this is one of the new Urban Decay lipsticks, one of the new um, Vice lipsticks. And I'm going to put on my reader so I can tell you what shade this is. And I won't swatch this one on my hand because you can see it on my lips. This is Firebird and it's a cream color. And that's what it looks like. It looks rather dark in the bullet, but just to let you know, my... Um, lips can be rather pigmented so darker colors don't look as dark as they do in the bullet so maybe I will swatch it so you get an idea okay so this is Firebird and that's just like two coats it's a pretty dark pink red more pink than red and I really like it's very um, smooth and I love the way it goes on um, now let me get let me get started let me show you a few other ones this is a one that this is a one this is one that I bought last year from Kat Von D and I believe thought I knew the name of it but better just put that those readers on um, this is Wolf's Mouth this is a really pretty dark purple and it has a little bit of kind of gold throughout it. It's hard to see on the camera, but I can see it by looking at it. And I will do two coats of that. As you can see, that's um, more of a purpley, like a little brownish. In the tube, it looks just purple. But I really love that color. Another one that I like is by MAC and it's a mineralized rich in lush life. And that's very similar to the wolf's mouth that I just showed you. This one, the bullet kind of cracked in half. That was a fail. Huh, never had that with the MAC lipstick. My house is not hot either. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's two coats. And as you can see on my hand, it's a little lighter and a little, I think, pinky red. More pink and red than the wolf's mouth. And that, once again, is the Mineralized Rich and Lush Life. Another MAC lipstick that I like a lot is called... It's a cream sheen and it's called Party Line. It's one of their regular um, lipsticks. And I haven't used this one too much. Now this is really very similar in person to the Wolf's Mouth. As you can see, that's almost a dupe for it. That's really crazy. The only difference is that the Wolf's Mouth has more of a brownish gold in it where this doesn't have that but the wolf's mouth is smoother than the MAC. As you can see, I got kind of caught there on a little bit of my skin. 
Another MAC lipstick that I really like for fall, or really any time of the year, is the Matte Viva Okay, as I was saying, the MAC Viva Glam, and I think this is the Viva Glam 1, it's in a matte color, and it's a pinky red, but more on the red side. So you can see like a theme here. I like a lot of the pinky reds and reds or pinks. Okay, one more MAC lipstick. And this one, honestly, I have never used except, nope, used it one time. And it's the Riri uh, Retro Matte Riri Rue. And I love the packaging. It's the um, rose gold, and this was a... Um, limited edition and I'll put this down below here Now this one's a little drier so to put on a few more coats that's a really dark red see how this one is a little lighter and more of maybe a little pink in it this is really a, it's a I would say a cool red meaning there's not any orange in it. There's more of a real light, light pink. So that was the Riri Rue. Now, um, a couple more. This is a NARS, um, I think these are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and this is in the color Cruella. Looks like that. And I'm going to go like on the side of my hand now. Or no, I'll go up here. And this is a very dark more of a neutral red, I would say. Yeah, it's more of a neutral red. More on the yellow tone of neutral. And it's right there. Sort of like a brick, brick red. And that's a matte color. Now the next three, next two are, um, drugstore and then the last one is a brand that I believe is high-end and I received it in a uh, birch box. Okay, this is a Maybelline one and it's 660 Touch of Spice and this one I love using just for every day. It's a matte color but it doesn't feel matte on the lips. And this is probably my only one that is a brown color. And there's really not any hint of pink in there. It's just what the name says, Spice. And that's what it looks like in the bullet. It's hard to tell in the bullet because sometimes when you put them closer to the camera, they look a little darker. Okay, now we have some liquid lipsticks. I don't have many liquid lipsticks. I'm just kind of getting into that now. This one I've had since last year, and it's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I love the way this one feels on my lips, and it doesn't wear off like chunky or PC. And I'm trying to read the color. Hmm. Just says Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. doesn't give me a color. I hate when companies do that. But this is like I like it. It's that pinky pinky red. Now this is more of like a pinky brick I would say. It's right there. You can see I really like the same type of colors. Maybe I need to try some other ones to come out of my comfort zone. If you have any suggestions of your favorite fall ones, please leave them down below. Now, this is the last one, and this is more of a purple brand, um, brand purple color, and it's by Hikari. That's H I K A R I. And let's see if I can read this. This is actually a lip gloss, but it goes on more like a liquid lipstick, and the color is Merlot. Put it on this side. And there it is. So there's all the fall lipsticks, like I said, but I do use them all year round. But I do tend to use them more in the fall and in the winter too. You can see I have uh, a lot of the colors can be pretty similar. 
like these two kind of look in the camera like they would be dupes but in person they're not this one that I did before the, the Revlon one it's a lot more pink than the Hikari the, the Hikari has a lot of purple in it but for some reason you can't see it on the camera so those are my um favorite fall lipsticks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions on lipsticks that you'd like to wear in the fall, please leave them down below. I'm always looking for new and different colors to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope that you're having a good day and take care of yourselves and don't forget to check out the link down below for the ladies who collab and um, give it a try. It's it's a lot of fun. This is my second video that I'm making for them, um, for them and me. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and have a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, what time or, whatever time of day you're watching this. Thank you. Bye-bye. Didn't shut it off.